Hugo, we can't tell which way's up. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> right, let's see if we can find these elves. Found them already. Where are they today? Up to the under the tree. Never mind the tree, what to do with my wool? What? Where is it leading to? What is it doing? Is it? Have they just thrown it over like a decoration? Mm -hmm. Wonderful! Well that's going to have to come off. Mum. What? What? Have they mixed my black and white wool up? No. What They're is it? new elf. <gasps> That's the new elf. All wound up. Oh my god. He really was literally wound up by their mischievous play. Ooh! Yay! They did say they were going to bring a gift every day. Oh, it looks like Bob and Holly have brought a clue as well for the viewers. Oh! oh. Number one! It is the first of the day, isn't it? Eight milk chocolate bars. Ooh, chocolate. Is that a necklace or a bracelet? What do you see? Ah. It's a bracelet or anklet, I believe. I think there's two of them and I think they actually join up. Do you want to read the clue for everybody? My tree! Can you do guess the song from the following lyrics? There'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of Christmas is long, long ago. I know that. Oh, okay. I will read that out to them again later on, just in case they missed it. <coughs> is that right, Lilla? Do you know it as well? Yeah, it's quite an easy one as well. There's something down there for you. I thought we were going to put It's okay to move them just very briefly. What is it? Advent calendar. It's tea light. Smelly candles. Yeah. Yay! You mm -hmm. like smelly candles. Yeah. Cool. It's a bit early for that kind of play, puppies. It's like the back of six in the morning. So you've now got two advent calendars, <coughs> Abby, to open every day. Abby. <coughs> We've got a new elf who's a bit wound up at the moment. Has Abby changed them again? <laughs> I had it same fab as it should last night. No. <laughs> right, do we think there's going to be shapes? Will we have a guess? No. Or are we just going for it? Yeah, the chocolate fell out. Oh, the <laughs> chocolate fell out. It was a Christmas tree. Um, <laughs> we'll find it at some point. I'll find one. Oh, oh, okay, that'll do. Is it a Christmas tree? If it's a Christmas tree, you can have it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Right, get your breakfast. <coughs> Chocolate before breakfast? That's shocking. <laughs> You'd think it was Christmas. Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I hope you're all well. As you can see, I'm still in the festive spirit. I've got my homemade obsessive Christmas disorder jumper on and I've still got my Rudolph slippers on. Yes, I'm just feeling so Christmassy. It's wonderful. Um, as you would have seen this morning, those naughty elves were up to tricks again last night. They were in the tree this morning and they had literally wound up Brooke's new friend in my wool. They had completely wrapped him up in white wool and then stranded the wool all around the Christmas tree. I was not impressed. Brooke to unwind him later and um, see what she makes of him and decide what she's going to call him. You would also have noticed that our Christmas tree is up. Yay! We finally persuaded the Grinch, who is my husband Jack, to put the tree up on Saturday. He didn't want to do it before December, but it was the only chance we were going to get. So he did put it up and I have filmed it and that is what today's Vlogmas is going to be. I'm going to put in the footage of us putting our Christmas tree up and showing you our decorations. But first of all, I want to have a quick chat with you about the music quiz and I will recap the today's question in case you didn't hear it from Brooke earlier. Now all I want to say about it is, I, I know I didn't mention it yesterday, what you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is every answer that you know 
right in the comments of that video. So yesterday's one, if you know the clue to the riddle, put it in the comments of yesterday's video. Today's one, put it in the comments of this video, etc, etc. And um, what I will do is I'm not going to give the answers every day like I did last year because it's a competition. So I'm going to wait and then I think I'll leave the competition open until the 30th of December. So the day before Hug Me Day. And on that day, I will then go through all the comments and see who has got the most answers right throughout Vlogmas. And that will be the winner. I will make a quick video on that day that will probably go up either on the 30th or the 31st to give you all the answers and to say who got the most right and who's the winner. If there is a tie, then I will put it all into a random generator and I will let the universe decide via an app who is the winner. So that is the plan. I just wanted to let you know. So write in the comments of each video what you think the answer to the music quiz is. On the 30th of December, I'll count them all up, see who's got the most right, make a quick video telling you the answers and letting you know who the winner is. Ha! <sighs> I just wanted to get those terms and conditions out the road. Hold on a second, I'll go and get the bit of paper so that I can recap today's clue for you. I'm back and I've remembered to put my antlers on. Yay, jingle, jingle. Right, so the question, the music quiz today was, can your viewers guess a song from the following lyrics? There'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of Christmases long, long ago. So I will show you it there. So that is your clue for today's music quiz. And... I didn't get a chance to watch any of the Christmas films last night, but Granny Annie watched A Boy Called Christmas and said it was brilliant. So I will definitely get her full views and opinions on it when she comes in later on for coffee. And talking of coffee, when it is that time, I will come back to you and let you know what I'm going to try. I think because I've still not got a great sense of taste or smell, I think I might try one of the coffees today that I picked up in B&M's because I've got more chance of tasting that rather than the hot chocolate. I'll save them for when I'm actually going to be able to enjoy them. In the meantime, I am going to leave you to watch the all the festivities of Saturday when we were putting our tree up. Enjoy! Good afternoon. It is Saturday the 27th of November and we're about to put our Christmas tree up. Yay! And we are all organised. I've got my Christmas top on and my antlers on. We're waiting for Granny Annie. Jack has got his... I'm sexy and I snow it. Socks on. <laughs> what have you got on that's Christmassy? A hat. A hat. It's not even a Christmas hat. So yes, we are getting all organised to put it, uh, put the tree up and as per my core tradition, we are also going to put the Santa Claus on the telly because we always watch that while we're putting our tree up. It's the one with, what's his name? Tim Allen. Tim Allen, yes. We always, 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 I don't know how many years we've done that now. A good five, six years at least. So yeah, that is the plan. So I'm going oh, to put you... Antlers. These are my antlers. What are you wearing that's Christmassy? Nothing. Oh. Even the Grinch over there has got his Christmas socks on. So yes, I'm going to put you on um, time lapse and let's get this tree up and then I'll show you all the bits and pieces once we're done and uh, the new bubbles that we've got for this year. So it's going to be interesting this year because Lomond was a tiny, tiny, tiny kitten at Christmas last year and he wasn't with us. And Hugo hasn't seen a Christmas yet, so it'll be interesting to see what they're like with the Christmas tree. What do we think? <laughs> you have to leave it alone, Hugo. He's too laid back to keep. At this point, I couldn't reach to put the branches in anymore, so I disappeared to the kitchen to make myself a nice mince meat flavoured gin. Putting the lights on the tree is always Jack's job. It's 
funny watching him going round and round really, really quickly and you think he got dizzy. <laughs> to put the bubbles on now. We always love this bit, taking everything out of the box and trying to remember all the memories that go with them all. Time for the star! Yay! Yay! Here we go, and I'm showing you the new bubbles. So we got the fox one, Basil Brush. Um, we've got... Oh, because we lost Rannoch in March and got Rannoch with the angel wings. Your wings were ready, but my heart was not. And we've got the gonk. Because <laughs> I love gonks this year. We couldn't forget yeah. Hugo. Oh, we've not got a Lomond. We need to get a Lomond. I think we'll get a real life Lomond on the tree so that I Probably. The cat wants in. Yeah, we don't want a real Lomond on the tree, thank you. The cat so there's you go. So that's our new ones this year. Right, gonna get all the other ornaments put out around the place and the photos put up and things. And get the train set up. We couldn't set it up until Christmas Eve last year because it was a surprise for Granny Annie. She always wanted to see a real train going round the Christmas tree. Not a real train, but a train going round the Christmas tree on Christmas morning. And she came into it last year. Was so excited. And you're just not fussed at all, are you? Well, that was fun, trying to get our Vlogmas intro filmed. I'll put that in a separate video. So there's our tree. We've got all our cushions out. So we've got our Molly. There's our Molly cushion. Our Clyde cushion. That was our Rannoch cushion. That's now our Hugo cushion. That's our token big dog cushion. <laughs> Look, Molly's still got her reindeer costume on. Good girl. And our Willa cushion. You can't see it because it's still light outside. We've got our tree out there. We've kept our wee wolf in here um, because it can't really be seen from outside because of the wall. We have got our Celtic Santa countdown, our little train that I wanted in the craft room, but Brooke insisted we have it in here because it's tradition, didn't you? The train has to go in here because it's tradition. We've got our nutcracker. It was last year you bought him, wasn't it? We've got a wee wreath up there. Oh yeah, I forgot about the diamond painting. We've got the diamond painting back up there. I love that. That took me hours and hours. So we've got Rannoch the reindeer sitting there in the hall. We've got this little deer I got in a two-pack from B&M the other day for £4. The other one is in my craft room. We've got the little light-up glittery deer sitting there. Oh, we got this last year from B&M. Again, you can't really see it because it's light outside, but look. Oh, I love it. We got Storm the Snowman. We've got our Christmas photos from the doggies last year. We got a photo shoot last year. So there's wee Molly. There's Clyde the Leaves and Santa Paws. There's Willa in the snow globe. And there's Rannoch. We lost him a few months later. Our big bear. And up here, to cap it all off, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> we got that from Aldi last year. He's brilliant. So that is our tree up and all our decorations out. Actually, that cushion needs changed. Hold on. That's better. Hey, I'm happy now. Right, I'm going to go and put the oven on for our pizzas. Gonna have pizzas and then later on gonna have a mince pie and a nice hot chocolate with Baileys and whipped cream. Oof, yum yum. And he's here, here which means it's coffee time and gin time. Yes, we'll have the coffee first. We'll be respectable, woman. <laughs> too late. <laughs> Seventy years too late. <laughs> this oh. is the set that I got out of B and M. It's a mint mocha flavour, an Irish cream latte flavour, uh, cinnamon cinnamon latte flavour and a gingerbread latte flavour and that was £4 for the set of four so I think I'm going to try the mint mocha today I think I might have most chance of tasting that and Granny Annie wants to try the cinnamon one so we're going to give those a go and we shall let you know what we think right so it's meant to be kept in the cardboard cup it's got the like takeaway lids 
And Granny Annie tasted it and went, oh, that's disgusting, but I think it's because I can taste and smell the cup. So we put it in proper mugs. Now, I tasted the cinnamon one as well, but couldn't really taste cinnamon or smell it. But I don't know if that's just because of the way that I am just now. But here is Granny Annie's opinion. Nah. It's overly sweet for me and certainly doesn't taste the cinnamon. Right. Okay. Or there's a hint of the smell. Right. <laughs> um, I have got the mint mocha and I think I'm detecting a hint of mint and I think I'm detecting a hint of coffee, but I'm not 100% sure. I might actually add a little bit of syrup just to give it some extra flavour. I don't think it's sweet enough for me, but you don't like Thanks. anything sweet no. uh, drink-wise, but I do. So I might add a little bit of uh, syrup and see. I think the syrup has brought the mint taste out a bit more. I think it maybe did just need to be sweetened a wee bit for me. I just put the English toffee syrup in rather than um, gingerbread or anything like that and it's okay. <laughs> Granny Annie's waiting for hers to cool so she can give it to the dogs. Right. While we're waiting, will we open our advent calendars? Yes, please. While Granny Annie's taking the cellophane off hers, I will open my Galaxy One. So it's number one today. Will there be a shape? I think it's a Christmas tree. I think it's a wreath. Well, there's a present behind the door and... And the Christmas tree! I was right! Ha ha ha! I guess that! You can a tell bit. it's a tree, look! I can see it! Yep, definitely a tree. Oh, I better get my skinny food coat one down, hold on. Now, I did already open number one a while ago when I was testing it for you and it was a candy cane. So, I've not got that to open today. She's finally getting into it, now she has to find number one. 24 gins for 24 advent days. You might be here to Christmas Eve. I can't give you much more of a clue. 24 gins for 24 advent days. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, what do we got? Ooh, what is it? What is it? Cacao gin. Ooh. What does it say? Distilled with cacao, cacao in London. In London. Serve, Serve with, with a twist, twist of orange. Now, cacao's chocolate. Oh. Cacao's like a well, cocoa type. It. Open it and smell it. It's uh, quarter to ten in the morning. Maybe no drink it. <laughs> does it. What does it smell like? Can you smell it? I doubt it. Oh, right, everybody <laughs> smell. Let me right. smell. I think they've got more chance of smelling it than I have. <laughs> no, it smells. Does it smell chocolatey? <laughs> oh, we'll need to taste that when you're back. Yes. Granny Annie's back at Falkirk today, but then back here tomorrow and then away again like on Friday. Have one tomorrow. Oh, yeah, good idea. Uh, you don't get to open any more today, I'm afraid. That's it. And the puppies have got an advent calendar too. Oh. But we'll need to wait until Brooke comes in. And we can all do it together. Eh? You've never had an advent calendar, Hugo. He does need Let to there be light. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting for a new extension to come so we don't need to climb under the Christmas tree to put the lights on. <laughs> you, I don't need to climb Yeah, under. well, I can't, can I? Yeah. <laughs> so the elves are still there. We're going to unravel the new elf. It's a black elf. You, oh, a black elf? Oh. <gasps> I wonder if he's going to be super naughty. I hope not. That might take a while. Think how long it must have taken for him to get ravelled up like that in the first place. Roll down a hill with it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they had him in the middle of a circle and they all ran round, round, ran round him. The washing machine. <laughs> I already know the name. What's his name? Satan. Satan! <laughs> That's not a very elf-like name. <laughs> oh, is Hugo stuck in the bathroom? I'm checking You keep on ravelling, I'll go see. No. Where are you, Hugo? You need to move from the door, Dafty. <laughs> you numpty. What you like? And Brooke is still unravelling. <laughs> Mind you, I suppose... Oh. <laughs> oh, well, I was trapped in it as well. Now we know what happened to the elf. <laughs> it's 
like a cat's cradle. Oh no, it's on Molly's head as well. Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> You're supposed Satan is an anagram of Santa. Hugo. Is that your mum and mum? Are you helping? Are you helping Brooke? The amount of times I've came in here and my crochet's been in the middle of the floor. Yay! Hello, Satan. <laughs> Are you actually calling him that? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Let's see it. He does look super cheeky, doesn't he? Oh 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 oh! <laughs> I'm worried now. Right, we, we better take the rest of the wool off the tree, or else uh, Hugo's going to pull that bit, and the whole tree's going to come down. <laughs> do Who knows how long it actually took them to get it like that in the first place. Uh. A few hours later. I'd like to know where the rest of the ball is. Have they unraveled the whole thing? I think so. Oh man. Oh, ah. Thank goodness for that. Time to roll it up. <laughs> right. I'm going to put you on hyper, hyper, hyper time lapse. Decided we're just going to cut it off at that bit because it's all wet and minging where Hugo was chewing it. <laughs> um, no, you're not going to be keeping playing with it though. Yes, he is. No, he's not because yes, he'll end up choking on it. Right, let's do the countdown. How many days are we on? Oh, 24. Will we say it? No. 24 days to go. 24 days to Santa. Don't let this be a thing again. It was a thing last year, not this year. Yeah, it's a thing again, because you nope. used to do it, because everybody nope. said last year you were to do it. Nope. Right, we've got the nope. other one to... Nope. Nope. <laughs> we've got the other countdown to do in the other room. 24 days to go. Nope. Dogs, is it time for your advent calendar? <gasps> do the dogs want their advent calendar? Did Loman come in with you? Because he's yep. got one too. Do you want your advent calendar, Molly? <coughs> Hugo's like, what's an advent calendar? Okay. They've all got their names on them this year. Oh, <coughs> so they will not get confused. So it's Wainwright's advent calendar. It's all natural, a variety of treats. And uh, I think it was, it was either Jolly's or Pets at Home that Jack got them. Right, whose is this one? Willa. Willa's? Oh, there's multiple. Ooh, multiple. There's three. Ooh. Four. Ooh. I wonder if they're maybe all from different days. Well, uh, what's Brooke got? Oh, shut. All right, what's Brooke got? Good girl. Ooh. Sit. Take it nice. Okay. Right. Take it nice. Take it nice. You go. Oh, they're gone. Good girl. Here's Clyde coming. He's a fussy dog. Let's see if he'll take them. Well, uh, no. Hugo. Take them Clyde, good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Uh, Hugo. Hugo, you're next. Good boy. Good boy. You're just the gentlest street dog ever. Or ex street dog. Hugo the boss. That's what it says on the box. Hugo the boss. Mm hmm. Boss Man H. Oh, he's sitting and everything. Good boy. Are you going to lie down for Brooke? Molly, no. Molly. You go lie, lie down. Good boy. <laughs> they <Being> nice. <laughs> like feeding a horse. Right, we Molly next. I'm going to yes. dance. Good girl. Yes, yes. Oh, you're so clever. <laughs> oh, she's a circus dog. There we go. Good girl. We're going to have a look and see what these bracelets are like. We'll do the job together. Oh! That is cool. 
So I you could give one to one of my friends. You could give one to one of your friends, yeah. And I would imagine after Christmas you could take the charms off them and still wear them. Cool. Let me see the wee charms on them. Haha. <laughs> you could have one on your ankle and one on your wrist. No, we'll a Christmas one tree. Yeah, I would give one to one of your friends. And what's this one? Santa, the big man. Give one to Charlie. What connects into a heart? It what? Connects into a heart. Oh, so it does. The two bits make a heart. That is really cute. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Charlie. Give it to Charlie and the two you can be matching at the concert tomorrow. Yeah. Have you told the viewers it's a concert tomorrow? How excited are you? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Are you going to get your advent calendar? Your cat's Christmas all wrapped up. Advent calendar for cats. Oh, look. Let's see what woman's got. Oh, does that smell nice? Oh, it looks like catnip chocolate or something. What does it say that it is? Filled with creamy catnip flavoured chocolate. <laughs> oh. Can you eat it? Good boy. Not sure what to make of that. <laughs> Don't step on it. Like, just give me food. Give me real food. Well, that's what Woman thinks of that. <laughs> he is quite fussy, actually, when it comes to cat treats. He'll eat any of the dog stuff, but I, I honestly don't think he thinks he's a cat. So that's after five o'clock now. It's been a quick day and Jack's not in yet. He is on a course today, so he'll be in later. So I don't think we'll get to watch a Christmas movie tonight either. And then tomorrow night I'm taking Brooke to our concert. So it's definitely going to be the weekend before we can watch a film. Anyway, I thought I would just end Vlogmas Day 2 here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to write your answer to the music quiz in the comments below. Have a wee chat with me as well. And um, yeah, just have a chat with each other. You know what I said. And I, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this. If so, please do hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. You don't want to miss an episode of Vlogmas. And tune in tomorrow to find out what these naughty elves get up to with this new one. The very black, evil looking Satan. Trust Brooke. <laughs> right, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Ho, 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 ho.